Schools across the state are experiencing outbreaks of COVID-19. The Boise School District confirms 23 cases since their online learning began in August. And according to Southwest District Health, 200 students and staff in Owyhee County are currently in quarantine. The good news is no one in I know under the age of 30 has died from COVID-19. But the bad news is many people within a school system are still considered high risk and teachers are left to figure out how to adjust their plans. Tonight, education reporter Jessica Taylor takes a closer look at the data and how teachers are handling the school year. Teachers have yet another thing to add to their workload, teaching students in quarantine. In the past, when a student was sick for a day or two, you were, it was a lot easier to catch them up. But when students are being quarantined for two weeks, that's a big learning gap. Already, teachers struggle with balancing the workload of in-person and remote learning. Some working hours past the end of the school day to answer questions, give feedback, and catch kids up. They're working incredible hours trying to make sure that they're servicing their students to the best of their ability. Students aren't immune to the coronavirus. Southwest District Health's data shows in Canyon County, 11 students and staff are in isolation and 107 are quarantining. In Owyhee County, 200 students and staff are quarantining. Earlier this week, Dr. David Peterman shared there's been a number of cases across schools, but they're mainly believed to originate outside of the classroom. Uh, the positives have more to do with what we believe is community spread. Idahoans of every age have tested positive for COVID since the beginning of the pandemic. However, it is important to note that zero people have died between the ages 5 and 29, but other people within a school system are above that age range and at higher risk, and the possible lifelong effects of the disease are still not known. We have a highly contagious virus that is going to spread throughout a school very quickly if we're not cautious. McAnally says a slow reopen will lead to the ultimate goal safely. We've got to do this very carefully, but no one wants the kids in the classroom more than their teacher. Jessica Taylor, Idaho News 6. So given these numbers, how are schools adapting? In Canyon County, Nampa and Caldwell are continuing in the hybrid model. In Owyhee County, Marsing School District is having remote learning for third through fifth graders through the end of September. 